time for our fun fact, guys. Do you know that? Right now, the time is, let me check, 7.15. Oh, really? Yes, 7.15 p.m. Well, let me take five steps. One, two, three, four, five. You know what the time right now is? It's 6.15. Yes, I'm not even kidding. So right now I'm in the city of Rivera, which is in the border of Uruguay and Brazil. What you see here is the flag of Brazil. And if I move just a bit, what you see is the flag of Uruguay. There you go. Yes. So it's one city but two countries. And just by you know taking one step, you change the time to one hour. I hope you like the fun facts. Stay tuned. Hola mis estudiantes, ¿cómo están? Bienvenido a la clase de español. Hoy vamos a estudiar adjetivos posesivos. Hello my beautiful students. How are you? Welcome to the class. Today we're going to learn possessive adjectives. Now, I might I must say that, you know, you might see a lot of text uh, on the screen, but then, you know, don't get confused. I'm going to explain it very easily and you will understand it perfectly. Okay? So, the objective of today's class is that we will be learning how to say things like my something, your something, his or her something, our something, your something and their something. That's it. The objective has to be clear. The objective is we're going to learn possessive adjectives. Now, be with me and you'll find this very simple. So this entire screen is divided into two parts. The upper half divided by this line, white line, and the lower half, right? The entire, uh, you know, concept in the upper half is for singular object, right? If I say my pencil, so pencil is my object here, and pencil is singular, so it will fit in the upper half. If I say my books, so my position object is plural, books, and it will fall in the second half, okay? Also, the coloring has been done intuitively as always, so it will be very easy for you to understand that whatever is in yellow is in Spanish and whatever is in white is in English as counterpart of each other, okay? Another important thing to be understood here is that everything that you see in yellow here in the first half, you just have to add an S at the end of each one of them to make it plural object. Yeah, see? That should make it even simpler. Now let's begin. The table as usual, it's a very good table. First person, second person, third person, singular plural, it explains us different possessive adjectives okay so we are talking about singular object now the moment you say me it is for both male and female it means my Tu, both for male female all of this is for it does not vary with male or female okay so me is my tu is your su is his or her nuestro is for male so when the object is male you say nuestro when the object is female you say nuestra okay and uh, vuestro when the object is a male vuestra when the object is female for your and so is there both for male or female object okay <clears throat> now let's see uh, some examples and things will be much clearer mi casa casa means house so mi casa is my house mi amigo means amigo means friend mi amigo means my friend so you see both, uh, you know, casa is a feminine object and amigo is a masculine object. But for both of them, we have used the same me, my. So it is irrespective of masculine and feminine. All right, let's move on. Tu hermano, hermano is brother, your brother. Tu oficina, oficina means office, your office. Su país, país means country, so his or her country. Grupo means group, su grupo means their group. Okay, let's move on for uh, when the subject is plural. Nuestro hijo, hijo means son. So nuestro hijo means our son. Nuestra hija means our daughter. Okay. Vuestro papa, your papa. The object is masculine. That's why vuestro. And vuestra mama, 
means mother. Yeah. Uh, mother is a feminine object, so vuestra, your mother. Su medico means his, their doctor. Su is te, their doctor. Su medica is their doctor, but feminine. All right, uh, students, that was about, uh, you know, the possessive adjectives if your object is singular. Now, it's exactly the same in this case when the object is plural. It's just that whatever a possessive adjective you saw here, you just have to add an S to it at the end and things will be different. Things will be for plural object. That's it. Very simple. Let us take a look. The same table. Miss means my, but when the object is plural. Tus means your, object is plural. Sus means his or her. Nuestros, nuestras means are, when the object is plural. Vuestros, vuestras means your, when the object is plural. And sus means their, when the object is plural. Let's take an example and things will be clear. Mis casas, you see, the object is now casas, which means houses. And so you have to use mis instead of me. If it was me, it was casa, we used mis casas. And I've used the same examples in many cases so that you can understand very easily how when the object changes from singular to plural, the possessive adjective also changes. So mis casas, my homes. Amigo was singular, amigos is plural. So mi amigo, but mis amigos, my friends. Hermano, tu hermano, hermano is singular, but when hermanos come, that means brothers, tus hermanos, your brothers. Oficina was singular, so tu oficina, your office. But oficinas is plural, so tus oficinas, your offices. País is country. His or her country, but here we have países, so sus países his or her countries. Another thing that you, you might note here is that, you know, uh, both for singular and plural, it is su and sus, right? But that's how the language is. You have to, you know, get used to it. It's the same word for both singular and plural when the subject is singular plural, but you have to get used to it. All right, let's move on. Grupo was singular, so their group, but when the grupos become plural object, uh, the possessive adjective also changes. Sus grupos. Nuestros hijos. That means our sons. When it was eco as one son, we said nuestro. But when the object has become plural, we say nuestros hijos. Similarly, when it was hija, we said nuestra hija, our daughter. But when it has become plural, hijas, daughters, we say nuestras hijas. Vuestros tíos means your uncles. Vuestras tías means your aunts. Sus médicos. When it was médico, we said su médico. But sus médicos, their doctors. And sus abogadas means their lawyers. Right? So that was about possessive adjectives. Uh, and I really hope that you have understood and, you know, uh, mastered this concept now because uh, it, it tends to be very confusing. But I have tried to... Uh, show it in the best possible manner that you will not get confused uh, when to use me when to use miss So I repeat, you know uh, To give you a summary that this entire sheet has been divided into two parts uh, The first half is uh, dependent on the object if it is singular and the second half is dependent on the object if it is plural rest all remains as it is you just have to add s and I suggest please practice this concept because it tends to be confusing but uh, with practice you can master it and uh, once you are confident about this concept your Spanish will go to the next level yeah so I really hope you enjoyed learning positive adjectives today and if you wish to continue learning from me please subscribe to my channel till next time happy learning goodbye y creo que has entendido todo en esta clase y les espero hasta la próxima adios muchas gracias chao chao